Hello and welcome back to another episode of the Bridgewater Triangle Paranormal Investigators. Tonight we are here at the Gurnet Lighthouse located in Duxbury, Massachusetts. And this lighthouse was first built in the year 1768 and first became lit in 1769. And this lighthouse was operated by a man named John Thomas who fought in the Revolutionary War. And unfortunately John never made it back from the war so his wife Hannah Thomas was appointed the very first lighthouse keeper in America. And what's so haunted about this lighthouse is people swear that they still see Hannah roaming around with a saddened look on her face as she misses her husband John. Hannah, can you knock back? Hannah, are you still inside? Can you speak to us, Hannah? Can you give us a sign that you're here? Show yourself in the window? Can you knock back? Can you knock back? Hannah? You see what I see up there? Harry, did, did you just see that? At the top of the lighthouse? No. A face or something. I, I, I could be wrong. I could be wrong. Could be the angle. What, peeking out at us? Yeah, just looking out. I didn't see it, no. I was Not even looking door. down at us, like looking out that it's way. possible. Hannah, can you make that device go off? Please, Hannah? You know what? Let's set up the GS2 laser grid. Let's do it. So you thought you saw it again? Right there. I don't see anything. It's not there now. What the? All right. So we got the GS2 laser grid set up. If anything steps in front of this grid, it's going to measure the temperature, the distance, and the direction where it came from. Right now it is 51 degrees and 50 at the base. And I left the meter in the middle of the grid, so that way that will go off in case anything steps in front of the grid. A bunch of hot spots on the grid, that's about it. Hannah, are you reunited with your husband, John? Hannah, are you still in the lighthouse? You know what? It sounds like them two are actually having a conversation. Hannah, my name is Paul. So, we're going to leave the EVP recorder down and walk away and see what we can pick up. saw someone up there. Two or three guys. He was here before he passed. His spirit still got to be here. He died in the war, not here. It don't matter. If he lived here though, we're here too. Right. Man and woman, and they are speaking among one another. So we're going to use the new laser scope. And if anything walks in front of the grid, a shadow will be casted, and the lights will be broken up. Hannah, I know it must have been lonely all them nights, keeping the lighthouse lit up. Can you give us a sign that you're here? Please? We're friendly. We just want to communicate with you. Hannah, can you walk in front of those lights? Hannah, is your soul still trapped here? Hannah, 
Hannah. Are you wandering these grounds right now? We're not here to harm you. What's the temperature on it? Still 53.6. So we're gonna see what we picked up on the recorder. Who knows, maybe we didn't pick up anything, maybe we did. Hannah, can you walk down the stairs towards us, please? What if you, you were reunited with your loved one, your husband, your wife, right? Yep. After death. Right. You'd be probably walking around these grounds. Right, holding hands, yes. Correct. I mean, it is a nice beach area. And it's, it's beautiful. It's romantic, night yeah. Out here. But that's if she's reunited with her husband. She might still be in the lighthouse. We don't know. Hannah, are you reunited with your husband? Are you out here on the grounds holding hands? Hannah, are you with John? Can John speak with us? Hannah! Total silence, dude. Total silence. Hannah and John, you're free to have any conversation with each other on the other side. Just let us know if you're reunited with him. We just want to sign. Are you wandering these grounds right now, holding hands on a romantic night underneath the stars? Hannah, it must be tough losing a loved one. I'm sorry th that it happened to you. Okay, so what we're going to do is leave the camera down and see what we can pick up. Can you have a seat with me on this bench? 53.2 right now, we're gonna set the meter down there. Can you sit down beside Harry? He doesn't mean no harm. He's not gonna hurt you. Hannah, do you want to sit by yourself? Can you touch that device? So there's a big cliff all the way down to the ocean. That's a friggin' cliff, bro. Yeah, it is. It's a shock and festive water, man. Hannah, are you with John right now? Are you two having a beautiful walk hand in hand under the beautiful night sky tonight? It said no! She said no! I heard that. Can, can you tell me why?
Hannah, are you near the steps right now of the front door? Yeah. Yeah. Right. Is that a voice that said Hannah? John, was that you? Hannah, can you walk up to me? Just leave it right there. We understand maybe you're lonely, maybe you just need a hug. Can you come up here and give Paul a hug? We are here for you, Hannah. Whatever you're going through right now, I am here for you. Hannah, do you want your privacy? So the grid's setting up. Hannah, can you walk by this grid? Just right flash blue. Right on the corner. Hannah, is that you? There it goes, there it goes. Are you holding my hand right now? Is there anything we can do for you tonight? I wish you to rest in peace. May you and your husband rest in peace. Okay, so after our investigation, we came up with the conclusion that John is an actual spirit who was passed on to the other side, versus Hannah, unfortunately, is a ghost still stuck in purgatory with unfinished business. I mean, think about all the lonely nights that she was left to run the lighthouse all by herself without her husband John there. She must feel as if there's still work that has to be done. So clearly Hannah's alone without her husband, because when we asked her if she was with him, she answered back, no. Are you two having a beautiful walk hand in hand under the beautiful night sky tonight? <gasps> now Paul came up with an interesting theory. If John was there before he passed, then his spirit would still be among the lighthouse, which is true. His spirit's probably able to cross over onto this plane. And we actually believe he's crossing over to try to bring his wife, Hannah, home. Because you can clearly hear them two communicating with each other on our spirit box. She's saying, towards me, meaning, come towards me. And you can clearly hear John calling out to her. But unfortunately, Hannah probably can't move on yet. And that ain't the only time that John was calling out to Hannah. Yeah. Is that a voice that said Hannah? Okay, so this is interesting. Two times on the spirit box, we picked up a male's voice saying, go. Then we picked up on camera a voice saying, leave. So honestly, we believe it was the voice of John Thomas, who felt maybe as if we would interfere with his mission with him trying to reach his wife. So it's actually a sad story if you really think about it, but we're hoping someday that John and Hannah Thomas will be reunited on the other side.